Okay, here's the uh, Windows uh, 2012 uh, server version. Uh, it's running a uh, domain controller. This is the only domain controller on this network. So I launched the setup uh, file on from the Windows 2016 ISO file. So during the startup, I can once I choose the same version of the Windows 2016, so it's giving me the option to ask me to keep my personal file. And also uh, the ap applications. So I hit next, so it's asking me to confirm a couple things. So this one seems saying, oh, you, this application doesn't compatible with the 2016, it's in 2010 actually. 2010, 2016, they are using the same uh, core um, for the OS. Okay, again, so it's saying these Windows Server upgrades are not recommended. The best result, please clean install Windows. So this calling about the best result, but you can still move forward. Uh, so, okay, and uh, the next one is seeing say this link okay. right so it's saying ad prepare forest prepare so if i confirm this one so this is still not allow me to move forward so let me bring up the browser to see what this talking about I do remember if I install 2016 in a dedicated uh, another server, so this process is done automatically. Okay, so this is the running how to run this. So from D resource, so let's try to run this. D so my this one is my on D so run CMD so let's run it to see what's going to happen it's not available make sure the device is connected so let's give a try to see where is it so yeah it is there AD prepare AD prepare okay there's no such folder here let's do a search oh let's change it to support so apparently this one is under open file location. Okay, so it's under support. So the article not always correct. Did it finished? Paste. Oh. AD. AD. Forest prepare. Okay. 
it. Hopefully it will finish. Okay, it says it must be Windows 2003 or later. Oh, who is using 2003? Anyway, enter to continue. Oh. What is that? Has been cancelled by user. Type other key. Press enter to quit. Confirm by type C. Oh, sorry. Confirm by type C. And then press enter. Okay, it's upgrading. Okay, it seems completed. Okay, let's try come back to here to refresh. One more time, need to be do main prepare. So easy. Successfully updated to main wide information. Okay, let's refresh it again. Seems uh, past that uh, challenge question. And now it's move to the next step. Okay, it's uh, saying ready to install now. So I will press install. It's going now. Okay, after a couple reboot, uh, I got this screen now. So. Uh, seems still going, except finalize setup. Okay, maybe need another reboot. Now I got the Windows 2016 login screen. I'm going to log in and see what's going to happen. Okay, finally I logged into this server, so now I can bring up the server management. Seems everything. Start up, and I'm able to use the group policy management. That means my domain controller is still on, and uh, I can use AD computers and users. Okay, and the previous I have a couple applications. For example, I have this application. Okay, and uh, it's uh, still working and. Uh, there's some antivirus and uh, some third party application they're still running so most likely I was successfully upgrade this server from 2012 to 2016 and uh, this is uh, uh, domain controller the only domain controller in our network okay thanks for watching